Lucid dreaming sex is one of those things, by the way, I've probably instantly been demonetized for that, uh, but I don't care. So, lucid dreaming sex is one of those things, I made a video before about this explaining how to do it and why, you know, it's uh, fun, why it's good. There's actually something I'd like to warn you about lucid dreaming sex because I feel like a lot of people, and I'm sure you're one of them, have tried to have sex in a lucid dream and then realized that it's either woken them up prematurely <laughs> or uh, it's led to something which you didn't want, like a lucid nightmare or something like that, scary dream. A few reasons for that. So, firstly, lucid dreaming sex is obviously exciting, it's obviously stimulating and uh, can even be considered to be overwhelming in many cases, especially if you're having fantasy sex with your celebrity crushes and things like that, right? I don't know what you guys are into. <laughs> so, the warning I would give you is this. Lucid dreaming is a special experience, almost a commodity. Not commodity in the sense that it will run out or that people are exploiting it for commercial gain, but more in the sense that you have a finite number of nights in your life. I know this is gonna be a bit, a bit too dark, probably for uh, whichever time of day you're watching this. You have a finite amount of nights that you will have a dream in, in your lifetime. We have a limited number of days in our life, okay? Don't worry, I'll bring this back around to something happy. So the question is, we know that when you have lucid dreaming sex, you pretty much wake up fast. You know, you, you're gonna wake up pretty fast. The lucid dream is not gonna last more than a few seconds or minutes. Um, and if it does, you're just lucky, right? Most people, lucid dreaming sex ends the dreaming experience prematurely. So the question is, is it worth it? Is it worth spending an entire night of dreams just to have, just to screw your uh, celebrity crush in a way that feels hollow when you wake up? It doesn't feel satisfying or satiating. So the question is, are there better things, more meaningful things that you could do with that night of lucid dreams? And I would say, yes, there are. <laughs> so, so, and by the way, this really depends on which stage you're at. If you're a beginner, of course, you're gonna experiment with lucid dreaming sex. I highly recommend you do. But if you've done this for a while, if you've been around the block, as they say, and you've, uh, you know, it's not your first rodeo, I would suggest to you that there are better, that there are better uses of your dreams, better uses of your lucidity than just banging celebrity crushes who you think happen to look good wearing a mini skirt. Now, I'm not saying that's not fun. I'm just saying that there are better things you can do, more meaningful, fulfilling things that will actually have an impact on your personal growth and your life, and therefore the personal growth and lives of others, which in the, in the greater, in the bigger picture, it's probably more important, isn't it, really, when you, when you think about it. But, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't experiment with this stuff at the start. Of course you should, but just bear in mind there's more important things you can do, especially when you consider that doing, uh, having lucid dreaming sex will probably end your dream prematurely. Now, if you're one of those lucky people who can have lucid sex and not end their lucid dream prematurely and actually go on to have more other experiences in the same night, then by all means, you know, go ahead. But most people cannot do that. So that's the only warning I would give you. And uh, I hope it makes sense. I hope this doesn't just come across as, uh, as a weird warning with no, with no backing to it. I hope you can understand that there probably are more meaningful personal growth related experiences that you could have outside of just banging celebrities or fantasy crushes. Uh, however, there are a few of you who are gonna say things in the comments like, okay, well, what would you suggest I do? What is better than having a, a erotic experience with Megan Fox or whoever you happen to like the look of? Well, that's actually a long topic. And how long have we been recording? We've been going for four minutes. Uh, so, which is probably longer than you'll be going for in a lucid sex situation, just saying. Um, but I'm actually gonna save this for another video. I'm actually gonna talk about the, the best things to do for personal growth in another video because I wanna go into in depth on that topic and I don't feel like, feel like a four or five minute video is enough to justify that. So if you do wanna see what I would suggest to do instead, then subscribe to the channel and have a look for, if, if the video's not been posted yet, then just, just wait longer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to post the video, don't worry. I'll explain what I would suggest to do instead, what I would consider a better use of your lucid time, and why, and you know, how, what an impact it will have, not only on you and your personal growth, but by doing that on the world as a whole, and our collective consciousness, which, by the way, is pretty important. 
for the evolution of our species. Anyway, that's a very in-depth, detailed topic. I need to go, I need to spend at least 15 minutes explaining that one. And I know you guys don't like long videos. You have other things to do. You have cat videos to watch and, um, you know, PewDiePie's videos to uh, binge watch and things like that. So I'm not going to keep too much of your time on this. But if you do want to know, subscribe, check out my other videos and leave a comment. I'm pretty sure some of you will, agree, will disagree with me on this. But I would suggest that those of you who disagree with me on this either haven't experienced more meaningful things in a lucid dream or just don't really understand what I'm saying here. Anyway, leave a comment letting me know. See you next time. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.